Hello. I wanted to talk to you about a problem some people find when they install Drupal 7. Um, what they discover is the images don't work. Now this doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Um, and so if it happens to you, uh, I wanted to tell you one of the reasons why it can happen. Uh, and it's, it's a permissions problem with the um, the directory permissions on your web server or it can be potentially if, if if your images don't work and you've done everything else just right then this is worth considering have a look at this and see if it works right so what we're going to do we're going to set the directory permissions uh, that there's a directory inside your website called, called a default well, first of all we're going to set that to 555 see if it works and if it doesn't we'll set it to 7 Five, five, or even seven, seven, five. Um, the 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 less permissions you give, the the more secure your server is. That's why I want to try a different ones. If you see here, uh, set set to five, five, five. If it doesn't work, set it to seven, five, five. That's for the default, the directory called default. Um, we're going to set the the file. Uh, there's a directory called the files directory. And we're going to set that to 775 and all the directories inside the directory called files we're going to set to 775. Right, so what do the numbers mean? Number 1 means execute, which means you can actually look inside a directory or if it's a, an executable file then you can execute it um, or, or run the file. If it's a number two, number 2 it means you can write to the directory or write to the file or whatever we're only going to deal with directories today and number four means you can read um, something that's inside a directory you can read a, um, a file so that's what the numbers mean what we're going to do let's have a look on our script right if you have trouble uploading images to your website uh, when you add pages to Drupal it could be a permissions problem right open your site in an FTP program I'll do that now because it takes a while this is the FTP program and apart from this one all the other things here really all the other stuff just makes it work it's just making Drupal work the bit that matters is your site's directory now it takes a while for that to open up so we'll go back here um, what we're going to do we're going to open up our website in an FTP program navigate to the site's directory we're going to open that up and look for a directory called default. So, let's see if we've got anywhere yet. There we go, this one default. Now, the default directory here, inside the sites directory, if you look at these permissions, I've set it to 555. Now, on this server, this is okay, it works there. It's possible they might have to set this uh, default directory to seven seven five but if you can get it with it try it at five 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 because it makes your server a little bit safer so that's the default directory we've set to five 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 which means read and execute read and execute read and execute so what's inside there there's a files directory now the files directory and everything inside it we're going to all, all the the folders or the directories inside this, when it's on a web server they're called the folders directories so we're going to go to files directory, directory called files uh, directory and we're going to set that to 775 uh, which means you can um, the owner can read, write and execute the group can read, write and execute and public or other or world or everybody else um, can only read and execute. So we want to do that for the files directory and all the directories inside it. Not the not the files, but the directories. And if this is FileZilla, and with FileZilla, if you click that re recurse into subdirectories button there to inactivate it, and then apply to directories only. We don't want to apply it to files and directories, just to directories only. Click the button and that will uh, set the settings inside that files directory I don't know if we'll be able to open it, it takes a, it's very slow is this 
um, we'll come back and have a look in a minute when, it, when it's done that for us now what's the real problem what, what you find is sometimes when you make a web page like this and you've got a picture in the page and you've done everything just how it says in the book and what you actually get on your uh, on your website is this the picture without uh, the, the page without the pictures and that's the problem we're trying to solve we're trying to make it so that when we add a picture to our page it actually does end up in the page so let's have a look right now all the things in here now the ones we're really interested in is this, like this styles 775 and these are your, your large image, thumbnail image, medium size images um, these, all these have been set for us, just this 775 775 you can go through them one at a time if you want to and just uh, change it manually but if you're using FileZilla it's e the easiest way is to just click that button there and then make sure you apply to directories only right let's go back to Mr. Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you right um, there's a good web page that explains this in a much more detail and it's at drupal.org then a forward slash node forward slash 244924 so if you go to that web page and read what's on the page um, it, it's a long page and it'll take some finding the, the bit that you're interested in but if you search for summary of permissions and numeric values on that page if you press ctrl f um, it'll open up a search box it, it works with almost all web browsers so when you're looking at the page press ctrl f a search box will open up type into the search box summary of permissions and numeric values and it'll take you to this little bit of the page that, um, that gives you the, the information you need um, it's, it's been written by someone called Cam Howard which I don't know who he is but it was nice of him to do that for us anyway that's what you want to do if you have problems making your pictures appear on your web page after you after you install Drupal 7 try change the permissions I hope that's been useful for you and I do hope you pop back thanks for watching bye